Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a bit overdue. The last time I shared a what sold was for the 1st through 15th of April. And now here we are closing in on May. If you have school age children, does it feel like the month of May is just a complete blur? At least that's how I feel every year. So today is officially the last day of school. I've got about two hours before I go get my littles, then we're off to Disney. Yes, we just went two days ago if you've been following along my videos, but hey, that's how we celebrate around here. Disney after everything exciting or Disney every day. So I thought about not doing this video just because, you know, we're kind of inching away from when these sales happen, but I'm a part-time reseller and I feel like watching these what sold videos here on YouTube has absolutely changed my business here. It has taught me what brands to look out for, how to price items, uh, that I was paying too much for certain items when it comes to sourcing and the cost of goods. And I just really appreciate when sellers are very transparent with how much they paid for items, how much they sold it for, and what their net profit is. So April was my best month so far. That was kind of my personal goal. I know summertime, even for my real day job business, uh, is also sales related. And sometimes, you know, you can see a dip in the summer because people are just doing other things. But my goal is to see an increase. And I saw a huge increase in April. And I made about $3,000 just doing this on the side in my free time. So what I have done and what we're going to share today is uh, the second half of April. So the 15th through the 30th, but I only pulled out my sales where I made a net profit of $10 or more. So on Kitizen, for example, I'm only going to show you two sales. I had several more sales, but they all made me $9 or less take home. And so I just thought, you know, for the average reseller, $10 is kind of what I feel good. But if you hang with me to the end, we're going to start, we're going to end with Poshmark. And I made some really, really good sales and brands I had never heard of. So that's the goal here is that maybe you learn a brand or two. I have a lot of kids clothing and shoes items that sold. And you might be surprised with the profit that you can, you know, maybe you've passed by a lot of these brands in the past. And so I am here to help teach you a thing or two and let's get into it. I'm going to share my screen. Let's see. Okay, every time I'm on here, no, not that. I should do this before I record, but every time I, I, I the way I do my videos, um, I'm not very techy. Come on. There we go. Um, anyway, I don't, y'all don't need my small talk. Okay. Finally made it. Okay, so we're, we're going to start with Kitizen. I only had two, sh two sales to share with you from the second half that had such a great profit. So let's find this one. And, and here's what I want you guys to learn from this one. If you are not putting your women's items over on Kitizen, you're missing some sales. I sold these Brooks women's size six and a half running shoes. They sold for, uh, where are they? $40. Okay, so on Kitizen, um, Sometimes, well, what I'm showing you is not showing you if I sent them an offer, okay? It, it, it records your solds as however you listed it in the first place. So anyway, I did have $10 into these because they were in great condition and um, they sold for, so when I tell you, I'm gonna tell you what I paid. If you've never watched one of these before with me, I'm gonna tell you what I paid and where I got it from. I'm gonna tell you what it sold for. And then when I'm gonna tell you what my profit was, that's taking out any app fees and shipping and what I paid and all of that, okay? So I sent an offer on these just because I wanted to clear them out and they're from Goodwill. Did I say that? I got myself in a jumble. Anyway, they sold for $40 and I made a profit of $17.18. I promise I'll get it together here on the next item. Okay, these are Zaxi, which is kind of a, it is a spinoff of the the Grindine company, the parent company uh, for Mini Melissa and, and Zaxi and Grindine, it's all the same thing. Anyway, you can find this brand at Nordstrom Rack and these were a personal item. So I had nothing into them. We had them for a while and they sold for $22. You will notice um, if you've been following me for a while, I just want to say on, it says plus shipping. Shipping fees went up a lot on Kitizen recently and um, I am no longer offering free shipping over there and I am still having sales. So I think it is easier for a buyer to see, dang, like I wouldn't know five years ago that shipping costs so much money. So I love having it broken out. It's easier when I have bundle sales and I'm actually sending even better offers now that I know 
exactly what I'm going to be paying for shipping. So I made a profit of $19.74 on these. If you see Zaxi, I don't always say pick them up if they're in great condition and if they still have that very sweet smell, go ahead and pick them up. All right, we are going to head over to Mercari. Keen, you hear me talk about this brand a lot. You probably hear most resellers talk about it. Pick them up from the tiniest baby size, which I have coming up, to men's and women's. Uh, it doesn't matter what condition they're in. I will tell you, I have sold them without the size. It's harder. I just hovered over a new picture. You want to see the size dot in there. It's just hard to have to measure them. And like the measurements on their size chart don't exactly match up with, I don't know. So for me now at this stage, unless they're like a dollar, I pass on them if the size dot right inside is not still legible. So these uh, were my daughter's. So another personal item, we cleaned out her shoe bin last month. They sold for $21 and on Mercari, I do not ever offer free shipping. I don't offer free shipping anywhere. It's in Poshmark because it's included. So anyway, I don't need to say that anymore. So just know I do not offer free shipping. People pay it. And I made a profit of $17.99. This, okay, you're going to hear me say a lot of times this came from my thread up 200 pound mystery uh, unboxing, boxing boxes, whatever. Going through putting this video together, I really want to buy another one and they're available right now on the thread up website. They're $500 for 200 pounds. And you guys, I got some incredible items. I would, I did all the, the haul. I did a follow up uh, video number five that showed you how long it took me less than a month to recoup my money. And I, there, I had like 400 items, maybe three something. I don't know, but after just selling 15 items, I recouped my $500 and you'll see it came with some great stuff. My cost of goods was $1.47. And they, this sold for $80. So my profit was $67.91. Spanks sells and it sells fast. You're going to see a trend with this brand, Mini Melissa. You see them, pick them up. Now, uh, I am a huge Mini Melissa fan and it is very easy to be tricked and pick up a pair of fakes. So really quickly, the way you can avoid that, this is a picture of the bottoms. Of course, I chose, they're kind of hard to see. It will say Mini Melissa across the bottom. And guys, even if they're old, you know, make sure no one's staring at you and give them a good old sniff. They smell amazing. I think it says it's like a strawberry bubble gum. I don't know. I can't explain the smell. It's definitely not strawberries. They smell sweet and fakes smell bad, <laughs> super bad. When in doubt, you know, you're, you can follow me over on Instagram. All that information is below. And I, I just need to see a picture of the bottoms and I can tell you if they're real or not. I'm happy to do that. I'm kind of known on kids and as a mini Melissa expert. So anyway, these what are these? The cats. Where are my cats? These sold for $20. Another personal item. My daughter outgrew all of her size nines, which was my favorite size. All right. I am getting really good at walking into a store, a thrift store now and walking out with very minimum items because I know what's going to sell and what's going to sell fast. This smocking, smock around the neck, any type of smocked little girls dresses are going to sell and they're going to sell fast. This sold within a day or so of listing. And I picked this up at my local Once Upon a Child. I did pay, I averaged my cost of goods that day. So it says I have $5.90 into it. It sold for my full asking price of $19. I made a profit of $10.35, which I am totally happy with for a super fast flip. The brand doesn't even matter as long as it's smocked and it's in great condition. These Southern mamas down here, love them. They scoop them up. All right, these Crocs, I picked up at Goodwill for $6.95. They sold for $30 and I made $18.88. This jacket, I really wasn't sure this was going to sell um, just because it, you know, it wasn't tight fitting. It was kind of, I don't know, but it sold on Mercari. I have $1.47 into it also from my thread up 200 pound box and it sold for $15. I made $11.29. Here's Keens again, and these are teeny itty baby. They were literally like this big, they're size four. I think that's the smallest the style comes in. Guys, they still sold for $25. I'm telling you, baby and kids items, if you're getting the right brands, are going to sell and they're going to make you a great profit. I have, um, again, I averaged my cost of goods. I know for sure, um, it says I have $6.95 in. I do that just for ease for me on my inventory spreadsheets, but I know I pay probably two or $3 for these. That's how Goodwill prices their baby shoes. Regardless, I, they sold for 25 bucks and I profited $14.05. These Lululemons are on the next page, I think. Yes, these, um, these are old. These came in my 
200 pound thread up box for $1.47. And, and I use the Lulu Fanatics website to find them. Google Lens didn't really help me on this particular style, but guys, they still sold, I sent an offer, they sold for $30 plus shipping. Um, and like, I don't know if it told you, told me the year, I think they were from like 2013 or 14, but people that love this brand, love particular styles, they know what fit and the woman sent me the nicest message after that she, when she got these, she said, I have one pair like this. They're my most favorite pants. I can't find them anymore. So it's really important when you're listing brands like Lululemon that you are putting the exact product name because people like me, I have a filter set up for a very particular item that I like. Um, and so people probably have groove pant as a saved filter. So make sure you take the time to do that. What did I tell you? I profited $24 and 36 cents on these. Natives, another brand, scoop them up no matter their condition. These were a personal item of my daughter's. They sold for 20 bucks. I made $17 and 12 cents. I love that style. I will tell you for you fellow mamas, this Juniper, they do tend to run a little small compared to the Jeffersons. And another pair of mini Melissa's. At least her shoes sold fast. I was so sad. This style is my favorite personal item. They sold for $23 plus shipping and I made $19 and 73 cents. Livy and Luca, another brand to pick up. Uh, these, I did not sell for my daughter. I picked these up, I did not sell for my daughter. I picked these up specifically to sell because they were a size she had grown out of. And they, I paid $3.99 for them at Once Upon a Child, which is a local kids consignment, sort of like Plato's Closet for kids. And they sold for 20 bucks and I made $13.13. .13. Great brand to pick up. Some more Crocs and same thing, teeny baby kids, adults, they will sell. Another personal item, these sold for 20 bucks. I made $17 and 12 cents. Oh, these, if you follow me and have watched my videos, this is the item that I had my very first ever return request opened on Mercari or Case or whatever they want to call it. And I was so mad because as you can see, I do my due diligence. When I, I love listing shoes, I take a picture of the backs, the toes, each side, Okay, the bottoms. Now, Crocs always have the size stamped on them. Here, well, the sold's kind of in the way. Right underneath the word sold, you can read there's a circle with a number one in it. Very legible. Over here, size details, size one. Typed out, size one. Three different places is the size, y'all. This woman opened a case for me because she said they were not a size one. I was really upset that Mercari even let her open a return request. I denied it, but then they had to review it. And I reached out to their customer service and they were like, we'll dig into this. And they let her, they approved her return. Now there is a happy ending, kind of, I'm still annoyed. Like they approved a return request for size stating they were not the size listed. When you guys, there's obviously a picture. I wish that sold wasn't there so I could see it better. Oh, there we go. Can you see the number one? Like, it says J1, like Jill Jr.'s kid size number one, plain as day. Now, here's the kicker. After, so, she, so it was about 21 days from the date she got these items delivered to where this whole process happened. You only have three days to rate them. So she waited till the third day after having them in her possession. I'm just grateful I didn't need this 20. Well, my profit was only $10.56 because I did pay up $8 for these because I thought they would fit my own daughter and I always pay up more for that anyway. They granted her the return request. They gave her three days to ship them back. No, one week. I think it was one week. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Not only has she had them all this time, they gave her one full week to send them back. And then it said, if she does not ship by 4 p.m. on the seventh day, the case will be closed. Guess what happened? She did not ship them back. Case closed. My money was released. Like what in the world? So from start to finish, I had to wait about 30 days to get my money. You'll see, um, this was, it was received on like March 23rd. So not happy with Mercari over that. Their customer service sucks. Plain and simple, no other way to put it. They do not have seller's backs. Obviously I did nothing wrong and they were going to let her send these back to me. And I was out my money for almost a month. So mini rants, but just wanted to share that experience because I feel like it's a little important. Okay, um, mini Melissa, again, uh, these sold for $26. They were in like brand new condition. And I made $22.35. And the last Mercari sale, the Spiritual Gangster, 
brand new with the tags shirt. And this came from my thread up 200 pound box, $1.47 into it. It sold for $36. I made $29 and 59 cents. Oh, okay. I'm going to speed it up a little now. We're going to head over here to Poshmark. This was my best sale of this period. These are Mew Mew heels. I will tell you, I had these for a while. Um, I picked these up. I really paid up for these because I checked comps and comps looked great. They are, they were $745 retail. I don't, I mean, I'm not going to say they're, they're not my taste. That's what I'll say. I, I don't know that I would have worn these, but they were in like new condition. Um, one of them had some scratching to it. Long story. Anyway, they did sell for $200. I have $80 into them. My goal was to double my money when I picked these up. And that is literally exactly what I did. That's why I took this offer. I had them priced a little higher. So um, I made $160. And when I take out my 80, I made 80 bucks. So not too shabby to make 80 bucks, but I did have to wait a couple of months to do that. All right, these gold age jeans, also from that thread up 200 pound box, $1.47 into it. They sold for $75 very quickly. I made $58.53. And another thread up 200 pound. This, I have $1.47 into these. These sold for $60 and made me $46.53. You might've seen a few of these items because I, when I did my uh, wrap up and how I made my $500 back, so. All right, these Merrill brown sandals I picked up for $1 at a local thrift store. They had them thrown in the men's, but they were actually women's. They sold for $25. I made $19. This NYX bra was actually really cool. It was reversible, so it was tan and black, which I thought was fun. And from my thread up, 200 pound box. It was brand new with the tags, $1.47 into it, sold for $28. I made $20.93. These Clarks. They were a personal item. They were my daughter's. We never wore them, but I had, uh, they sold for 20 bucks. I made 16. These Adidas power lifts. I have $8 and 30 cents into them from a local Goodwill. They sold for 40. I made 23.70. This Ted Baker necklace. If you watch my videos, you may remember I did a double the fun uh, opening two thread up fun boxes. They were both pretty awful. This was the only good thing in it. And I'm happy to say that this at least covered the cost of one of the boxes. It sold for $49. So I had $3 and 24 cents into this, but literally nothing else was able to be listed from that box. Not really. Uh, I did sell the, the weird scarf that was from that show Supernatural, but I only profited like eight or $9. So it didn't make this video. So I did sell another thing or two. And I think I did end up breaking even on those two boxes, but they were pretty bad. So I profited $33.50 on this Ted Baker collar necklace. These also came in a thread up fun box. It was not that same box. This box was not terrible. And these sold like in less than 24 hours for my asking price of $25. And I made $16.60. Another pair of mini Melissa's, you guys. Mini Melissa's sell this particular pair. Sorry, I don't want to do an update, computer. This pair is old. Now, if someone's a mini Melissa collector, they stopped making these years ago. These were handed down to me from a friend when my daughter was like one years old. They were a toddler size nine, I believe. Um, and... So it took us years. My daughter did not wear these until she was four years old. All of that to say, they were pretty old. They were not in the best condition. Like if you see the bottoms, they were definitely worn down here at the heels. I, I would probably, if these were not cherries, I would not pick these up in a thrift. This is pretty significant wear in my opinion, but the Velcro was still good. They still sold for 20 bucks. Y'all still made $16. So it kind of is in my best interest that I know that these are super old and people want them. So use your best judgment or you can message me and ask if it's Mini Melissa related. All right, these, another pair of Mini Melissa's. These also were not in the best condition. Um, I, they were, I listed them in play condition on all the other platforms. They just had a lot of staining that even I, the Mini Melissa cleaning guru, could not remove. But they still sold for 17 bucks plus the Posh shipping. So yes, people buy kids items on Posh. Yes, they will pay the shipping. This is a brand to look out for. Absolutely. A Bolo brand, Hatch. It is a maternity brand, but also this is 
these were just regular old little sports bras. Uh, they weren't even nursing bras. So they do sell some just comfier women's wear as well. These were from that thread up 200 pound box. So I have a dollar and 47 cents into it. Well, I guess I have that times two. This counted as two items, but anyway, I sold them for 60 bucks and I made $46.53. This was not the best sale, but I did include it. I, this was a personal item sold for 13 bucks and I made $10 and five cents. So guys, if you've got kids to clean out their closets, I mean, stride rights, a decent brand, but these did show some wear on the toes. Um, but you never know, maybe a kid loves my little pony. These aren't in print anymore. So list it, list your stuff. All right. This I was really pleased with. This was also from that thread up 200 pound. I have a dollar 47 cents into it. This reformation shirt. And it was not in good condition. I even put right here, selling this as a DIY as is, like these two hooks were very loose. It needed to be re-sewn on. It still sold very fast. It sold for $40. I made $30 and 53 cents. Natives, pick them up. These were my, these were my sons. Yeah, they sold for 21 bucks. I made 16.80. Another Spanx, this came from that thread up 200 pound. Um, I kind of went through and did listed what I considered to be most of the better items. And that's why you're seeing a lot of this because I listed it all that first and second week of April and it all sold very fast. Uh, these are Spanx maternity like tights, shorts, I don't know. $1.47 into them from that thread up box. Sold for $22, I made $16.13. These I picked up, I know that this brand sells well. I wasn't sure if the sneakers would sell well. They were in almost new condition. I did pay up $10 for these. They did not sell for as much as I hoped. They only sold for $28 and I profited $12.40. So I more than doubled my money. I probably would not pick up this style of this brand again. These mini Melissa piggies, these, my daughter wore them like in the house one time. We outgrew them pretty quickly. If you're a mini Melissa fan, this style, these sandal style like this, they run almost a whole size small. So um, they were like in new condition. And so they sold for $30. I made 24. These vans, this is a cool story. I picked these up at um, a Goodwill. Uh, for eight dollars and thirty cents they sold for 25 and they went to hawaii i just thought that was really cool they did take forever like i kept getting that alert saying your shipments delayed 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 thankfully i got five stars and that was that but it did take them a while i mean they went from orlando florida all the way to hawaii sometimes i just think that stuff is cool okay this did not make my my spreadsheet but i wanted to show you guys this this is what I'm talking about. So I almost didn't list these, but I know that we love this brand. I know that I love to have throw down pairs because my kids play outside and they play hard. We live on the lake. These were my daughters, you guys. Look at the back of these. I mean, they were loved. They have a hole in them, like a legit hole, like the bottoms. I mean, I scrubbed these, okay? Magic eraser, I do not sell dirty shoes. I like to put them in the sink. They soak, I actually enjoy washing shoes. These were stained. Look at this hole, straight up hole. You guys, they still sold for $8 plus the posh shipping. So I wanted to show you that just to say, if you see this brand, even if you think they're beat up, sure, I didn't make a lot of money and this was a personal item. So I don't know that I would necessarily pick them up to flip unless they were 50 cents or whatever but I just thought that was worth noting. And I have one final sale to show you. A little old eBay sale. I will tell you I've listed nothing on eBay in like three months. It's not, it's on my to-do list, but it's just, it needs to make its way higher. But life, you know, maybe this summer I did put a couple men's items. This came from my thread up men's box and it, uh, so I have $4 and 40 cents into the, that from that box. Sold for $89 and I made $79.94. So that was a pretty great sale. All right, so that was the second half of April. Any of my sales that brought me net over $10. I mean, April, I don't know if I said this, but I made close to $3,000 and, and it was an amazing month. Now, May has been okay, but to be honest with you, maybe like many of you, I've not been listing a lot. And if you're not listing a lot, you're not selling as much. I am still having consistent daily sales across the platforms, but not as many as I could be. And I'm okay with it. Uh, it's just been end of school and life. And so I'm hoping to do a little more this summer and I will be making my May video and I will include all of the sales because 
you know, I have, when I, I have three kids and I have been listing, I've been cleaning out our closets and those three, four, five dollar sales, they do add up. And I am not afraid to sell an item to make three bucks. So I'll be sharing all of my sales. I will split that up into two videos, the first half of May, the second half. And I'm going to try to get more timely with sharing my what sold with you. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for sticking here. If you made it all the way to the end, if you could give me a thumbs up, that would be great. And I will see you in the next. Bye guys.